Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Awesome Miner and Mining Pool Hub to mine music coin. Let's rock. All right, first step is to download a copy of Awesome Miner. So I'll leave a link in the description, go over here, make sure you click on the top one, which says Awesome Miner Installer. That is the full program. Download that and install it. The next step is to go over here to miningpoolhub.com and sign up. Make sure you choose a username that's easy to remember because you will be typing it in again later when we configure Awesome Miner. After you install Awesome Miner, you'll have the Add Miner Wizard. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on Next here. And then we're going to choose Managed Profit Miner. And the reason we choose this one is because it lets you select a profile for your graphics card. All right, that way, if you have AMD or NVIDIA, it makes sure that you're always using the correct mining software for your equipment, okay? And then click on Next. Up here at the top, we will name our miner. I'll call it Miner1. Miner host is local, that's fine. And then right here, Profit Switching Profile, that's where you will select either AMD or NVIDIA depending on what type of graphics card you have. I'm using AMD. All right, we'll go ahead and click on Next. And that's it. Click Finish. And you see here, Miner1 has popped up. So now all we have to do is add music coin to our pool list. So we'll go up here where it says new pool, click this button. All right, and now we can type in a description for that coin. So we'll call that music coin dash MPH. So I know it's for mining pool hub. Now we need to go over to mining pool hub and grab some server information. So let's click on our Explorer here. And then on the left hand side from the main page, you'll see it says pools and there's a link for all the different coins here. So we're going to go down to where it says music coin. Click on that link. All right. Now, most of the settings that you need are on this page here. All right. And it begins right here with the server settings. So depending on your region, US, Europe or Asia, you would just go ahead and copy the one for your region. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight copy and go back to Awesome Miner and paste that right here. All right, and then we're going to put a colon and we have to add a port number. All right, so let's go back to the page. And most of the time, the, the first port number that you see here, this one, 20585, is the one that works. But for some reason, I just can't get it to work. Um, and I've tried this with a bunch of different coins, but this port here just doesn't work for me. Um, and I've, I've even tried, you know, making some of the adjustments here where it says add this to your uh line it just it's not working so that's okay there is a workaround um, just scroll down here where it says ETH proxy all right and then there's a different port number it's 20586 and that port actually works fine out of the box so we're just gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it right here all right so there we go the next thing is adding a worker name so the worker name is the username that you chose at mining pool hub dot and a name for the worker so in my case it's going to be goose tech dot and we're just going to call this minor one okay and then for worker password just make that an x and the last thing here where it says optional settings we're going to set our coin to music coin so let's scroll up to where it says ethereum and here's music coin okay and that will ensure that awesome miner provides us an accurate readout for whatever profit we're making for that specific coin all right let's click on okay Great. Now we've added the pool. We just have to configure it to mine that particular pool. So let's go over here to where it says options. Click that. And then over here on the left where it says profit switching, click that. All right. And then at the top here, we have a little checkbox for enable managed profit switching. So you want to enable that. Make sure nothing else is checked off. And then right here where it says custom pools, put a checkbox here. And if you just installed Awesome Miner, then the only pool that's available will be Music Coin. So it'll probably show up here by default. If not, and you're like me and you have a bunch of other pools here, just go ahead and select the one we just configured, which is Music Coin right there. All right, and then click on OK. Now we've pretty much configured Awesome Miner to do everything that it needs to do. Um, but before we start mining, we need to set up our wallet. So let's go back to Mining Pool Hub. All right, we'll scroll up here and underneath where it says my account, oh, excuse me, right here where it says my account, um, there is a link for wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on wallet. And this is your online wallet. So whatever music coin you mine will show up here down in the bottom left where it says normal wallet. This number will start to grow. Okay. Um, it's always good to store most of your crypto 
in an external wallet, like on your computer, or even better if you can get something like a offline storage if you're if you're dealing with large sums of this. Um, so for security reasons, you'll want to transfer it off of Mining Pool Hub, and they can do that for you automatically, which is great. Now I won't go into which wallet to use, but you can certainly research that and find something that that meets your needs. Or if you want, you can just download the wallet that was designed by the developers of Music Coin. You can go right to their site and download that. Once you do, um, you're just going to get your receive address. Copy that and paste it up here where it says payment address. All right. This way, Mining Pool Hub knows where to send. All right. And then underneath that, you're going to set a threshold. So you put a certain amount here so that whenever this online wallet reaches that amount, it will automatically withdraw and send it to your external wallet. Okay. So just pick a reasonable amount there. Keep in mind that the uh, the fee here is the same as the minimum, so don't use the minimum because you won't make anything. You'll just be paying fees. Put your four-digit PIN in here and then click on Update Account. Now you're ready to start mining. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Click on our Miner 1 and then click Start. And as you can see here, it is starting to mine at about 15 mega hashes per second. Let's go over here to Austin Miner. You see that same number being reported here along with the profit per day. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell so that you get updates for future videos. Thanks so much for watching. God bless.